Hey Mod Runners, happy Friday. Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, an intervalometer, which basically is just a fancy name for a timer. Um, I use this timer, this is the Canon TC80N3, and you can go online. Uh, I'll put a link in the description down below um, where you can find them on Amazon and all the different places. But this is great and I use this a lot uh, for when I'm doing long exposures and I don't want to get a, a camera shake. There's actually four different modes that you can program into one of these guys. Um, but the one that I use the most is for when I'm taking nature and landscape photos and I have a long exposure and I can always set the timer on my camera. But I like this guy because I can just connect it to the actual body of the camera and push this button here and it just takes the picture. And that prevents it from getting any type of camera shake when you actually pull the trigger on the uh, shutter release on the top of the camera, that little vibration can add to uh, the photos being a little bit blurry. So this connects and you can move this all around all you want and it's not going to create any type of shake for the camera. So you can get a, uh, a nice steady uh, release just by triggering, triggering it uh, manually this way and if you have a, like a 30 second exposure or anything like that. You can also set this guy for doing time lapses. Uh, the interval uh, section, you can set the time lapse to be however long you want the exposure to be. So if you want to manually set the exposure for a night shot to be four or five seconds long, you can program it to be four or five seconds long. And you can do time lapses of those long exposures as well. Um, it's got the self timer, so you can actually program it to just do a self timer, however long. I believe it's up to like 99 minutes or something like that. But you can program it. And the trick about this guy, and this is, I know it's silly, but it's actually pushing in this wheel here. To set it, to change it, you push in the wheel, and that makes it highlight. And you can change your settings and then hit your start button, and that'll program it down. Uh, you can go online, you can find PDFs, and you can get the manuals for them and actually read up how to use them. But this is a great little device. Um, once again, it's the Canon TC80N3. Um, I use it for uh, long exposures, I use it for uh, shutter release, and then time lapses. Uh, great little device. I recommend going out and getting one. Um, it'll make your life uh, a lot easier and more convenient. You just stick it in your camera bag and it's good to go. Um, that's it for today's episode. Uh, please share the videos. Please thumbs up the videos. Please subscribe to the videos. Remember, I put out a new video every Friday. We're winding down to the last little bit of the year, so I hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, and whatever it is you go out there and do, find your passion.